everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here today at Trump National Golf Club for the annual Albert Pujols Celebrity Charity Golf Tournament. Now, Albert has his own family foundation, and I caught up with the slugger at Angel Stadium who talks about his charity and his relationship with Mr. Donald Trump. Uh, I know Mr. Trump for a long, long time. I play many, many of his courses, and you know, uh, every time I go to New York, I, I pay a visitor to his office out there. Uh, you know, in downtown, but uh, you know, just a great gentleman, and you know, it's just good to uh, get to know him. And just he usually give me advice, you know, over the past year or two. And he wish I would have gone to New York and played, but uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, just a great, great man. What was your impressions last year of the golf course out at Trump National? I know he's very proud of it, and of course, the views are spectacular. Beautiful. Uh, we have, first of all, oh, God bless us with the great weather. So the, we the weather was beautiful. We, we had a great time. It was just uh, everybody kept talking about the golf course. Man, I want to come next year, you know, just uh, make sure you send me the invitation. I mean, and, uh, you know, I, I want to thank him. And I thank him already, you know, for just opening his door. And uh, he's like, oh, sure, whatever you need. That's why he told me, just, uh, you know, just have one of the girls, you know, take care of the whole thing. So uh, I was really. Uh, exciting. I mean, I knew the course was going to be in pretty good shape because I play in Florida and uh, the one that he has in Florida and uh, it's just the maintenance is just great. You know, they always keep the, the courses in, in great shape. You had a pretty great group of people, of course, golfing last year and this all for your charity, for your family foundation to help families with Down syndrome. Talk about that. Um, you know, it's uh, this is one of our biggest events that we do to, during the year. Uh, we got this uh, the, our golf tournament and at the end of the season we do like a whole night divine and pretty much those are the biggest uh, fundraise you know to raise money for our Pools Family Foundation and uh, obviously as you know uh, you know we take ma mission trip to down to the Dominican Republic we we do a lot of activity with uh, kids with Down syndrome and obviously uh, you know being our second year here we're going to be more involved with those kids I know we have an event uh, coming on next month for the kids with Down syndrome here in Orange County so uh, just to give back, you know, I, I think it's more than again. I mean, I, and I'm able to take that, uh, these blessings that God has given me, uh, you know, to, to rich people and just to, to bless them the same way that God has given me. And I couldn't have done that without uh, everybody that support our foundation, you know, uh, from people that they're donating their time, their money, and just trusting us with, uh, with their money that they donate for us to do a good job. So, uh, Top Harry, you know, our director of our foundation, they always uh, uh, stay on top of his game, you know, to, uh, I saw, I would say, hey, you make me look good, you know, I don't do anything, <laughs> but uh, I just play baseball, but, uh, you know, it's just, and my wife, you know, and Jane Cooper, they're really, uh, donated their time and just put their time day in and they have, you know, to, to do whatever it takes uh, to help people. All right, well, we talked to Albert Pujols a couple days ago at the Angel Stadium. Now we're with Didi Pujols. It's the day of the tournament, and you're back here at Trump National Golf Course. It is good this year. Yes. I'm liberated from yes. being pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. Yes. Um, but uh, just a good, good vibe this year, beautiful weather again, and a um, great group of people who came out to support us. Uh, so I'm just really happy to be here. You, you spent a lot of years in St. Louis during doing the tournament, but we had a chance also to talk to Mr. Trump, and he said that he has been friends with you guys for a long time and was so happy to have you here doing the tournament out here now. Albert, uh, yeah, uh, Donald Trump has taken a, a, a fine liking to Albert, and yeah. um, they get along well. They've been, you know, played golf together before, and um, Albert really enjoys his company, you know. And so I think... Um, what a sweetheart, like what a sweet guy, you know, and I knew that when Albert, uh, when we pulled the golf tournament out here that, uh, you know, Donald would make sure that Albert was well hosted and, yes. and taken care of. So he has definitely come through. He, he's a really sweet man and um, it's, it is a beautiful golf course. Yes. Now that you're out here today, now everybody of course is golfing and eating. Eating is important while you're, you're, you're golfing. <laughs> You know, the, eat, the eating is a big part of it's huge. of this day. I feel like, you know, the way to a man's heart is going to be through his stomach. Yeah. So if we can keep his stomach full, they'll be happy. And, um, you know, we make sure we bring out restaurants. And, you know, people like to experience these kind of days. It's kind of an equal exchange. The celebrities and VIPs and those kind of, you know, athletes, they can... Uh, they love eating and the people who are serving the food love the athletes and so it's kind of a, a neat exchange that happens but 
um, I love having all the food and seeing who comes out to participate. It's just a fun part of the day. It's obviously not the what the day is about, but I love cooking, so I just take a liking to it. You know, I wanted to ask you about that because you've got a line of cookware that you've designed. Tell us about that and how that came to be. Um, the line of cookware was really inspired in one of my mission trips when I just, you know, really took, um, I just became more aware, I think, of not just what the ladies were cooking anymore, but so much what they were cooking in. And a lot of their cookware was just really old and, you know, they don't, they can't, they don't have the resources to just go out and buy new, new pot, pots and pans. So this is the Dominican, this is that right? The Dominican. Okay. Um, in one of the communities where we work frequently. But I just had an idea. I was like, you know, I'm going to make cookware. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but uh, I know whatever I do, I'm going to bring it back and give back to these women. So here we are four years later, and um, we just launched the cookware line in January. It's called Pujols Kitchen. And um, I'm hoping to grow, you know, and really do different things. And uh, this particular, since it's my baby, and it was um, really rooted from the idea given to me in the Dominican, I am giving the profits from the sales back to these ladies. So we took our first mission trip in March of this year, and we, we gave out cookware filled with food to women in the communities. And um, it was it really was my dream, like, come to pass. Like, I, I said that. It was going to be so cool when I can bring the cookware that I, they inspired me to do and bring it back to them. And so we, we did our first trip, and obviously when the, you know, the sales increase, then we'll be able to go do more of those types of trips but it's it was like really a, just a passion of cooking a love for food and then obviously my love for people I just put it all together you know you learned how to cook Dominican food of course when you got together with Albert what kind of food is Dominican food um, you know you you have a lot of roots a lot of uh, tropical fruits you know um, lots of rice and beans and I think that really stems just from um, uh, minimal resources so one of the biggest inspirations to me is watching women in some of these really impoverished communities um, throw together like something that you really could put on a plate and serve in a five-star restaurant in New York, you know, or Florida. Um, but yet they had really, I don't know, it's just something about the, you know, the way that they, they cook and the resources that they're limited to and they still can make really great food, you know. So obviously it's rice and it's beans and d all different kinds you know uh, and then um, roots so plantains and you have yucca and you have uh, taro root and all these different types of things so you know it's just like it's endless you can always learn always learn something you'll never run out of ideas to cook now are you still cooking that way today at home oh yeah okay mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Very nice. uh, lots of rice and chicken that's what my <laughs> kids love the most it's hard to get them to eat anything these days but um, but for Albert uh, one of the funnest things that I've enjoyed doing is he likes when visiting teams come into town. Uh, he'll have friends on the other team, and so I'll make whatever I make for lunch. Obviously, he eats, and then we pack it up, and he'll take it to his buddies on the other team or on his team. Um, that's really a, I love doing that. Well, a lot of great work you're doing with your own foundation, of course. Uh that supports Down syndrome and families with Down syndrome and people in the Dominican as well. So a, a great event here to come out to Trump National for sure. Well, we appreciate seeing you here every year too. And hopefully we'll continue yeah. this great tradition like we have in St. Louis and um, be able to tell new stories and have uh, big testimonies. So. And, and if people want to find the cookware, they can go to the PoolholesKitchen.com, is that right? That's right. PoolholesKitchen.com. And if they want to know more about the foundation, obviously PoolholesFamilyFoundation.org. Um, but it's all, you know, it's all intertwined. It's all about giving back and uh, sharing what's been given with us, putting it, you know, putting it out there for others to experience too. Now, in addition to Albert and Dee Dee coming out, Albert got a few of his teammates to come out and play golf here at Trump National. Uh, yeah, it uh, means a lot to Albert, you know, team uh, players from the guys uh, come out here and you know, spend some time with people and, uh, you know, have some fun, play some golf. I, I see you're here with your brother. Who's the better golfer? I have to say I, I am the better golfer. Really? But uh, he was better than me, but I got better than him now. So. So any friendly competition going on here? Or? Uh, I haven't hit a golf ball in two months, so it's uh, <laughs> hopefully hit a couple straight today. We are here with Jose Vizcaino. This is your second year here at Trump National. Talk about the course out there. 
the course is really, really gorgeous. It's, uh, you know, it's one of the nicest courses in California. And, and uh, I'm being, I play here probably like about 10 times. And every time that I come here, I love it. And um, this time it's a very special time because it's for uh, Albert Pujol uh, Foundation. You know, he do a lot of things for uh, a lot of kids uh, in Dominican and, and kids with Down syndrome in St. Louis and here in Anaheim. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good way to come and support our friends. Just how's your golf game? I uh, haven't played in a while, uh, at least since spring training, but uh, we'll just see. You know, a few, a few shots here and there, and we'll, uh, we'll loosen up and see what happens. Some of, the, uh, some of your co-workers at the Angels are kind of competitive, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we all, all of us really haven't played since spring training, and so uh, it should be interesting. We tried to get here early enough to get on the range, but uh, it looks like we're just going to go. Talk about the Albert Pujols charity and why you're really here today. Uh, you know, Albert is a is a tremendous teammate, and and uh, he always supports us. Um, and so, you know, this is a chance for us to support him and, and his foundation and uh, do something good for people. Kena, have you ever been out to this course before? No, this I'm a first timer, so. Well, as you can see, people love coming out here to golf at Trump National, but no one is more proud of this course than Mr. Donald Trump. So many golf tournaments have been here. Um, last year, for the very first time, Albert Pujols had his yes. tournament here. I had a chance um, to talk to him at great length, and he said that he had known you for a very long time. That's true. And when he moved here from St. Louis, he said, I knew I was going to have my tournament right here with Mr. Trump. We yes. have many of the great athletes, yeah. they have tournaments, That's and you know, right. they're all wealthy people, frankly, and they've done very well, and they're great people in many cases, not in all cases, but in many cases, and Albert's an example, and they have their tournaments here, and they raise a lot of money for charity. And we have, I mean, literally, I would say 50 or 60 of the great athletes having their tournaments, and whether it's the Lakers or the Clippers or the Kings or anybody, I mean, the Dodgers yeah, and the Angels, yeah, right. uh, they're always at Trump National and they love, you know, they love what's going on. Many of them have told me that this is probably one of the most challenging courses that they've it's ever true. played. And I was going to ask you, you play golf all over the world, do you agree? It's a very tough course. It's a great course. But, you know, Ben Hogan, who was one of the great players, he said, I've never seen a great course that was easy. And that's true, if you think about it. I mean, this is a great course. It's a very challenging course. And yet, if you're not a great player, you play from the white tees, which is up. That's right. Or you could even go beyond that, and you really have a great time. But from the back tees, it's really, it's probably the hardest course in the state. Is this one of the best courses that you enjoy playing at? I love it. I just left, and I played with some people. I played with Al Michaels, the announcer for NBC, the great football announcer, and great, and, and Mike Dunleavy and some other people. And we just played, and we just had a great time. The weather is wonderful but the course is in tremendous shape. It's now rated the best course in the state of California. We're rated number one. You see it all over the clubhouse. And it's, it really is, it's the best course. It's considered better than Pebble Beach, better than any of the courses in California. I also spent a tremendous amount of money bringing it to a level because when I bought it, it was a good course in a great location. Right. And you still had the ocean, but you didn't have the ocean like you have it now because right. we made the vistas much bigger and the course is a much bigger course. Uh, Pete Dye was the architect, yep. and he did a fantastic job. Every single hole is either on the ocean or a view of the ocean, and there's no course like that in California. I mean, that's why we got rated better than Pebble Beach, better than any of the great courses. And if you think of Pebble Beach, they have six holes that are on the water. We have all 18 are essentially on the water or absolutely on the water. And a big thank you to Mr. Donald Trump for spending some time with us out here today. And if you would like to donate to the Pujols Family Charities, you can go to their website at PujolsFamilyFoundation.org or PujolsKitchen.com. I'm Maria Sorreo. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.